All right, in this video, we're talking about a triangle and the angle and side relationship that we have. So we have three side lengths given to us in this triangle, and you can be asked a number of different questions about the angle measures, okay? And if you know the relationship between the angles and the sides, it's actually not that difficult of a problem. So let's break this down. You might be asked by your teacher, which angle is the largest angle in this triangle? Which angle is the smallest? Or you might be asked to just order them from least to greatest or greatest to least. All right, we want to be able to tackle any question that could be asked here involving the relationship between angles and sides. So let's talk about what that relationship is. First, you want to determine which value is the smallest or the largest, okay? And I like to actually label them. So eight is obviously our smallest value, 19 being our largest value. Good mathematicians would just put some words there to make sure that that's nice and clear, it makes it easy for us to find it. 18 is kind of in the middle, so I'll just use the word middle for that. All right, so smallest side length, okay? To determine which of these three angles would be the smallest, you just want to go to the opposite angle in the triangle. So here's our side, ST, and we're going to go across here, ST, we're going to go across. Opposite angle is U. So angle U is our smallest angle. I'm just going to list them out in order. Next, we go from eight to 18 and then 19. 18 being the middle one, we're just gonna go across the triangle to this opposite angle, which is angle T. Angle T would be our middle angle. And because 18 is not too far off from 19 in value, I would imagine that these two angles aren't gonna be too far off from one another. They're not gonna be that much of a difference there. Okay, 19 is our largest side length, so we go across the triangle from TU, side length TU, to angle S. Angle S is gonna be our largest angle. It's gonna have the largest value right here. All right, and again, one more thing you should know about triangles, side note, all three angles add up to 180 degrees. Triangle sum theorem. Okay, so now we have it listed out like this. Teacher might be accepting of that. If they ask you to write it as an inequality, just make sure you write it out as an inequality. One thing you need to understand though, very, very important once you get to this level, angle of U, that angle symbol looks a lot like an inequality symbol, right? So if you're gonna write out an inequality, please don't put angle T, you're gonna put that in the middle, right? Angle T, please don't put an inequality symbol that goes this way. We're gonna get those two confused. So what you're gonna need to do is inequality symbols need to go this direction, all right? So that we can tell the difference between an angle symbol and an inequality symbol. Hopefully that makes sense, okay? So now I always put the middle one in the middle of my and inequality, all right? So angle T is greater than which angle? It's greater than angle U. And it's smaller than or less than angle S. Now you have an inequality that states everything that needs to be said here. So we got our largest angle being S, our middle angle being T, and our smallest angle being U. Now we'll watch as we go across the board. Smallest angle being U goes to my smallest side. Middle angle being T, go across the triangle, that's my middle side. And then my largest side length and my largest angle would be opposite of one another. Largest angle being S greater than T, which is greater than U because U is the smallest. Study hard and good luck on your upcoming test.